We are live in the OMG studio. What's going on, folks? How you doing? This is uh, Warpat, and uh, I just had a cigarette. It was fucking great. Okay. And today, OMG's going to be doing a lollipop chainsaw review. This game is fucking awesome. There you go. I like the way it looks so far. Just the graphics alone are pretty cool, and you know what I mean? The whole playability looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't played the game myself. I don't really know what I'm, what I'm talking about, but from what I see from the new school graphics and shit, it doesn't look all shitty like some of the new school games where replay value sucks and everything, you know what I mean? Once you beat the game, that's it. You can't go any further. You can't replay. You can't do any of this. I don't know if this has replay value, but it looks to be one of those kind of beat em up but slash RPG style type games. Yeah, well, this game you fight different bosses from different music genres. You fight a Viking male boss, a disco boss that tries to sound like Little Wayne. Oh, that is cool. That is that is dope, man. I, I, I like the Viking one. The Viking one sounds like a fucking beast, man. He probably comes out there all with the guitars and shit. Does he actually come up with guitars? Man? He comes out with the drums there. He starts oh, drums. death metal drums. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's boss, man. Yeah. Something like this. Okay, alright, let's get this. Alright. Yeah, well, the reason why Juliet cut her boyfriend head, boyfriend Nick's head off, because he was turning, he, she, she, the zombies got, infected him, basically. Basically, I guess so. The zombies infected him, she has to cut off his head to save him. And the story is basically, Juliet, and that, there's this emo guy. Oh, look, 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 look at her, she cut that guy up, man. Oh, there's this emo guy in the game. Yeah, but he's he didn't get he wanted to get with Juliet, but he couldn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this game has references Saint Romero, like Georgie e. Romero, the one that makes those those good zombie movies. What about John? John Romero is cool too. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, yeah. he, until he got lazy and then until, you know, until he, he fucked, until, fucked over its software and, and just quit. Until he decided to sleep on the couch, so yeah. Well, what, what he's doing now? It. Never mind what that. Yeah, well, what about Die Katana, man? That game, that game sucked. I actually have that, but on my emulator, though. Yeah, but it sucked. I, 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 I just got it for suckability, so. Well, that, that's it, right? I mean... If you're gonna play id software games, man, Doom 3, Doom 1, Doom 2, Wolfenstein, Hexen, and any other kind of id first person shooter that isn't Die Katana. Okay, graphics, a lollipop chainsaw, good. 10. Yeah, 10. I, I give it a 10. Okay. I have to, I have to. <laughs> graphics. Graphics are fucking good. Yeah, well, this is like a. I saw a trailer for this game when it first, oh, when it first came out, magazine. What the fuck are you doing? She uses a chainsaw and she uses a grenade la launcher. The fuck is that? That's, that's her deca- That's where she puts her boyfriend- No, I, I, no, the blue thing. Oh, she has to put that- her boyfriend Nick's head on it. Oh shit, really? Yeah, and she- That's, that's dope, man. She, it, it helps her out during that, like, stuff like that gets stuck on there. You, okay. I'll explain it to you. Uh, you. She blow- you can blow it up. She can get Nick, Nick. And there's a little butt combination, like quick time. See, as you see, quick time event. Okay, so he can just kind of, like, walk around and shit like that. Like, she can bring him back to life as a spirit, but is the head actually attached? Yeah. To do, to do certain tasks. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, okay, anyway. Control Zora, blow my asshole, this is a good gameplay style. And this is a good way of playing Lollipop Chainsaw for a best. For that game, it's good. And you also can buy upgrades, as you see at hell. Alright, so... Sound and audio, very good. It got very good music. It got a lot of variety of music. Like what, for example? Billy Idol's you spinning right round. I'm not joking, it has it in there. Really? Yeah. There's a part where you go on a tractor thing, you run over zombies. It's pretty cool. That does sound pretty fucking cool. I mean, um, just just the, just the thought of it, I don't know, is kind of interesting. Yeah, well, a lot of cool stuff in this game, man. A lot of cool stuff. <laughs> oh, we're just having fun. Yeah. Holy shit, what the fuck? You gotta save that guy, don't you? Yeah, well, you save all the people in the- you save all your classmates yeah, in this game. Holy shit, the blood is everywhere. Yeah, it's me- the blood may be kiddish, but it's still good as hell. This reasons why zo this game for zombie grading appendingness is good. And there's some levels, there's like, uh, there's you fight a hippie boss. Hippie boss, that, that's- A hippie- a, hip, a hippie girl. Hippie girl boss. Yeah, something like that. It off, though. Yeah. And there's a fought in the, and there's a pervert sense sensei like a like a guru kind of guy. Like he's basically he hits her in the game. He shows how much of a pervert he is there. He's looking at her that there. He hits her. He hits his face off her breast. Thanks a lot. Dirty, dirty, dirty old fucker. He's a dirty fucker. I have to admit. 
Just saying. What's yeah. the deal, dude? But uh, this game is pretty promising, and uh, you know what I mean. Since I, from what I'm watching from it, it looks like a good game. I'd suggest going and picking it up and giving it a try. I don't know, man. I, I'd do it if I had an Xbox, but you know, War well, Warpad Warpad's broke. Or PlayStation. Yeah, or PlayStation, but Warpad's broke, so he has to stick with the PS2. You want to see something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Yeah. What are you doing? That was my cat meowing into the microphone. Do it again. Yeah, well the ch the chainsaw is a good weapon, essential. You can up you can buy upgrades like any other game. You can buy upgrades to upgrade your uh, arsenal, upgrade your chain, upgrade your attacks. And yes, they're they're, fit, they're dads in this game. Boyfriend Nick, well, her, that's her boyfriend Nick. Oh, man. It was her originally in this game. It's her 18th birthday, and uh, she had a shitty 18th birthday. But zombies are evading it, of course. And she gets different upgrades, different abilities, and lollipops are your health in this game. Lollipops are your health, as it suggests in the title. Lollipop chainsaw. Lollipops are your health. Interesting enough. Yeah, very interesting. I'd say it's pretty interesting. I mean, the title does suggest it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the part where I failed. Watch the OG fail at this part. Maybe I see. Uh, what the fuck is this? Shaking my cat. Shaking your cat. You buy. Oh, oh, watch what. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And that's what happens when you die. Somewhat. And she comes back as a zombie. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, dear. And the game looks like, has that grindhouse kind of feel to it. A good grindhouse feeling, you know, like those grindhouse films there. Yeah, I know what you mean. There. Those, that's the good, that's the, what got me to suck me into buying the game. Not, uh, but I like the cartoony element of it too, though. Yeah, I know, it's good. Zany, it is this? Z very zany. Yeah, very zany. Very zany. It's, it's, it's fucking, it looks cool, man. I mean, uh, Warpack is this is 10 out of 10, and I haven't even played it yet. <laughs> oh, frig. Might as well. For my rating, well, uh, personally, I'll give it a 9, but. 9. 9's, okay. yeah, nine's good enough. 9, nine I give it a 10 just by the way it looks. I mean, it, uh, yeah. I, I mean, it was so, it's something I probably still haven't played for like a couple hours, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, it's those kind of games you get sucked in by a story, you get the. That's it, yeah. It's not like a modern day game, some, most of them are you just... Uh, modern day games, man, this? can like bite my nuts at. But except this one doesn't doesn't chomp dick, so it's good. Yeah, exactly. Chomp that dick, you know? Yeah, too much of it. Too much of the dick chomping style, you know? Oh, but dick chomping style! Oh, in that style! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, gameplay control, story's good. Everything about this game, good facts. Suda51 made it. Grass, Grasshopper, Manufacturer, and Water Brother Games actually had a ha good hand in this. Is, is it, yes, this is a good game. This is a game, you, the type of game you pick up and play, you love it, you play it, you have fun with it. Exactly. And uh, I suggest what Jordan suggests. Uh, I think it looks good, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with it from what I see. Yeah. It just looks like good old fashioned, like, nut kicking fun, man. Yeah, well, this game now is cheap for $20. What's wrong? You can't go wrong with $20 nowadays. Because this game, when it first came out, you know, it was like 60 but I got it when it first came out. Because, you know, I had to. Because I had to get it right away. But you get it for $20 now for the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's a good, it's a good title worth your value and time. Really good information. It's, it's worth every dollar. Yeah, it's not worth the crap dollar. Yeah, or like certain games are just not worth anything. You know what I mean? They just really suck it. Yeah, you know what? Does you got football zombies? You know what football players? They're zombies oh, too. Jocks. Football, football zombie yeah. jocks. <laughs> <laughs> jock zombies, yeah. Zombies get a clock off the jock. Yeah, you know where they try to play ten hut. They say ten hut butt fuck. I'm not joking. They actually say that. This game has swearing, but I that a guy who reviewed on IGN. He probably is the same one that praised yeah, that new she demon demon, like demon C game, the new Devil May Cry. That game sucks. Does Dante look like a faggot in that one? Like I said, I don't know who Dante is, but maybe he did. Well, Dante originally had white hair and he was a badass. And now he's got what brown hair, black hair, black hair, and he just looks like looks like he got off for food with meth bender. 
three week meth bender, man. It sounds like the, the singer from My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Bromance. <laughs> <laughs> Bromance, that's, that's a, it's a gay joke. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, yeah. On this part, yeah, you see his, his, his fire zombies don't mix, and there's a part at the end, and yes, you're gonna get to see, you're gonna get to do this part. She's on a pole and she cuts the zombies. Look at that. Wait. Oh! Oh, look at that shit. Look at that stripping, killing at the same time. Pole dancing, motherfucker. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> this is RMG's rating, the pending. See you guys later and tell me what you think of this review. Bye bye. bye, -bye.